Hey guys, so last week I've been uh, diving into my favorite Zebra synthesizer um, even further than I already did and I came up uh, with some cool new tricks. Um, I'm gonna give you a short demo uh, of what you can do. I made this uh, start of a song with uh, mainly um, Zebra patches and just, yeah, just two other synths but those aren't doing as much. Um, this is what it sounds like. This one for example, oh, quiet, yes, this one for example is just um, one zebra um, which is doing several melodies and several lines on top of each other, it's doing a bass and this um, high melody sort of thing here. So, and I'm gonna uh, show you a few tricks that I used to make these sounds. I'm not gonna go over the complete uh, patch. It's gonna be a little bit uh, too long winded. Uh, and also you can find uh, some of these patches in my uh, preset pack for sale at adsrsounds.com, which is this awesome site. And, um, Let's see, I loaded up a new Zebra with just an initialized preset, which is an awesome saw pulse wave. Sorry if that was too loud. Um, and uh, the first thing I I'd like to explain is these envelopes, because these are not just your regular ADSR envelopes. Um, you can actually do a lot more with this. Um, for example, this first empty knob here, you can um, give it two different functions. First one is the init. You would say it stands for initialize, but I'm not sure. And this um, basically um, tells the envelope, the attack, to start at another level uh, other than zero. So you can start the, um, start the attack at a louder level than zero. And the other one, which is pretty cool, is a delay. So um, when you trigger a note, um, it's gonna wait for the delay stage to finish and then trigger the, the tech and the rest of the envelope. Um, but there's even a far more interesting uh, knob parameter here. And that is this one. If you right click, normally this would just give the three dots and if you right click it you can choose um, different things uh, you can choose a uh, second sustain level uh, which kicks in after the first sustain level and you have to experiment with that to hear how that sounds then and and this is the this is the real awesome stuff you can loop one section of the envelope so you can loop the attack the decay or the sustain and these other ones, um, um, these are, okay, it's a bit complicated to explain in English for me, but um, basically when you release your note on the keyboard, you can, um, you can then let this work with the MIDI off message. So I press a key, I release it, and then it's gonna trigger the, 
um, release date of the envelope by 25, 50, 75 or 100%. And you have to experiment with that as well. But um, today I want to look into the um, in the loop in the loop functions of these envelopes. So, for example, if I say loop decay, now it's gonna loop this decay stage of the envelope over and over again. Like that. And this um, parameter is the fall rise. And I got an image for that because it's also hard to explain. This is the fall rise section. So um, with negative values, it will um, it will turn the envelope down after the decay stage, and with positive values, it will uh, take it up again. And then you can use the sustain two that we talked about to. And define the other sustain level. So if I set the fall rise to somewhere around here, really small, and I can make the decay a little bit shorter to um, make it even faster. So that's how it sounds like, and I'm just gonna. Um, play with this for a little bit and then uh, let the melody play on the background. So you hear that when I'm when I'm looping the, the decay stage really really fast it's gonna give these digital overtones and give a high pitched noise that is just uh, like like a sort of a feedback um, you can play with that um, by changing the oscillator settings and make it a more useful sound so I'm just gonna let it play and um, twist some knobs and I'll, I'll show you what you can do So um, those are a few cool ideas and then what you can do is, for example, modulate this um, this loop uh, parameter with uh, what are we going to choose, the LFO for example, and envelope 1, where is it? I'm lost. I'm lost in the powerful zebra. I think it's this one. Thank you. 
Those are a few ideas. I'm, I'm just messing about there, but you, you have to, um, well, I advise you experiment with this uh, yourself. And really, it's you can get great sounds. For example, um, see if I have one here. <laughs> I can find one here right now but um so that was the the first idea I play with this and it's really awesome also play with the release uh, the release uh, values and I cannot really show you that because you have to play a keyboard or something like that to um, get it really working because it, it works on uh, releasing the key releasing the note and then I'll give you one other trick um, and that's from a sound in my preset pack and it's called oh yeah I know what it's called there we are limiter on it's asking if I have a limiter on. I don't. Let's do that. All right. Um, um, the trick that I used here is with the reverb, and I automated the reverb range with this um, MSEG4. And it's going all the way down over a course of 16 bar, 16 and a half. I don't know if you can hear that with um, I don't know if you can hear it with this software or with your headphones but it's giving a big bass um, when the reef is down and if I'll just do that with an empty sound once again I'm gonna be real quick because this video is getting kind of long but Take this down 12, one octave. Yeah, that's beautiful. So then um, the trick is I load my reverb here and I can uh, either automate the range or just drag it down and then it's gonna feedback, sort of feedback the reverb and you get a big fat bass sound and um, you do need a limiter on your uh, channel before you do that or on your master. can hear that uh, big bass you can hear a big bass on uh, triggering the note and you can play with that as well because it's if you uh, automate it with an uh, envelope or something like that, you can make um, kind of 808 sounds just with the uh, reverb and one sound to trigger it. So uh, that's all really cool. Um, I hope you got 
something out of that sorry it was if it was a bit long winded and nerdy um but have fun experimenting uh, with this ciao